Tanko Yakansai was recently interviewed, and uh, the leader of the Edas Forum, Alaji Tanko Yakansai, has been interviewed, and he said many, many things after he was asked so many questions again. And he was asked, what can you say about the current situation of Nigeria? He said Nigeria is having problems with security challenges, but the security challenges are brought about not by the issue of militancy, but by the issue of unemployment. Because most of the people engaged in banditry are among those who have no jobs and anything to survive on. They are forced into banditry in order to survive, to find something to eat. It is unfortunate. The solution is to create job opportunities where people can work in in gainful employment that we provide them with means of sustaining their lives but uh, it seems the insecurity is gaining ground from north to south to almost all the regions no no this is wrong it is false they have been having insecurity one way or the other right from our younger days so it has nothing to do with the issue of national unity to break up nigeria into whatever number you will continue to have this problem as long as the youth are unemployed and have no means of sustaining themselves. But it's going beyond the unemployment in the north. Because if you listen to Gumi, he's talking about another Sharia law, another this and this and this and that. It goes beyond that. It goes beyond that. If we are talking about the unemployment, so what is the government doing? The government that promised 3 million jobs in a year. But they are even taking away 5 million jobs even in a year. So why is it that the level of insecurity in the north is so, so, so high compared to what we have in the south? So you can't compare that. The issue of unemployment, is, it goes beyond that. Just, that's just my own opinion. It goes beyond that. So I don't really believe that this man does not want to say the right thing. It goes beyond unemployment. Well, anywhere in the world... Where you find people resorting to banditry and insecurity, it is caused by hunger and unemployment. So it, is, it has something to do with the unity of the country. Those who are trying to break the unity of the country are just trying to connect the two together. But they are actually separate issues. The unity of the country is whether the country is better for everybody when it is united or whether it will not be better. Well... Are you saying that the media is being infiltrated? Yes, I think so because because of the way this propaganda is gaining place in the media because you don't see it on the streets. All the marketers in the country go about their business. You go and buy food stores in the market, no banditry in the market. Go to a railway or go to markets to park, no banditry. So the banditry is perpetrated by the young people. Then why is it that... Uh, about 30 schools were closed. A lot of schools are being closed. The governors in the north, about four governors now, they have closed some markets, they have closed some places. So what is this man telling us? What is he saying? This is what these are the things we are talking about. Saying seeing the truth and saying another thing. So it is the young people that are uh, perpetrated uh, perpetrating this uh, propaganda. The young people are not educated. They are people who want to use them either because of their ignorance or because they are hungry. And people who want to destroy the unity of the country are taking advantage of their shortcomings. This unity will not solve the Nigerian problem. But how can the media get rid of these elements that have now infiltrated the profession? I don't understand. Even the question from this interviewer is some, somehow. It is up to the media people to open their eyes and see people. See the editors, there is poverty in the country. They should address their minds on how to create gainfully, gainful employment instead of asking questions about secession. Why don't they talk about job creation? They themselves are either complicit or they are secessionists themselves. Secession elements operating the media. Otherwise, when the country is passing through poverty and unemployment, why is the media concentrating on the issue of secession? If you address the issue of secession, then the unemployment and the rest thing you are talking about, it will be addressed. They will be addressed. What we need in is, is a solution to poverty, unemployment and banditry. No secession. My fear is that secessionist elements have adopted the strategy of intimidating the media with poverty because everybody, I am talking about the majority of Nigerians. 
are benefiting from Nigeria and nobody has come up today with a better solution to the Nigeria problem through unity, through integration. If we split into two pieces, how does it solve our problem? When you have a problem, you look for a solution. You don't try to compound it. Secession will compound this problem. There will be more armed robbery. There will be more stealing. There will be more unemployment. There will be no jobs in the country. There are countries that are worse than Nigeria today in terms of poverty, but they are together. I can cite two cases, Benin and Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo. So now that kind of life, you won't make Nigeria continue to live. Hmm. So funny. Since 1960 to date, Congo has not known peace, and yet they are together. Yeah. The same thing with Sudan. Even Sudan went to the extent of fighting civil war, getting to the division, and yet they didn't solve the problem of poverty. And another question this man was asked is that, can we say the government is relaxed in attending to problems of national importance? What example were there, were there tax? For example, in the South, the security is relaxed. They are not forthcoming. The kidnapping continues and the government seems to be so relaxed on it. I have spoken so many times, he said I have spoken so many times to the government. Things don't really uh, reveal themselves. You have to plan for them to happen and not to happen on their own. Whoever wants to rule, either at national or at state level, ought to have a plan. Problems cannot just be solved by agitation or noise making and media agitation. Problems are solved by curating a program or plan that will address the issues and turn to our face and begin to think of ways to overcome our problem. I uh, will never solve our problem. It will only create more. So this is the reason why things are not going in the normal way because they are not looking for solutions. Almost everybody is interested in criticism and attacking. People are not advising and bringing ideas to how to get rid of the problems such as unemployment. How can you get food rules? Good rules? People need to address their minds to positive thinking and not negative thinking what is this man talking about all the advice that they give why did they listen did they listen all the advice being given to them do they listen if you make restructuring impossible definitely secession is inevitable tanko yakasai is not telling himself the home truth the truth is that if we restructure the core north shall remain the poverty capital of nigeria it was the north that failed to develop its youthful population that metamorphosed into criminals of today the Amajiri of yesterday are today bandits, Boko Haram, ISIS, and other criminals of today. Tanko needs to cover his face in a big shame because their leadership, despite their fraudulent operation of the unitary federal government and their attendance looting, they collectively failed. We shall restructure.